Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the TAR. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edge Knot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Uh, never easy. It's never easy. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow-capped mountains. Place to rest. It's serious. geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. One more thing, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter oh bomb. Oh my god. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives. But in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Sam. I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb, especially when transporting it by a carrier or vehicle. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. Don't ignore it. Oh my god, how? Order assigned. Hello. Hmm. Ooh, that's 
feel better. I don't think I'm gonna need an assault rifle out here. The bike's still here. The geologist first, right? All right, let's get there. Ugh. Oh, shut up, Sam. So, Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's abilities seemed to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab? Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCord. <laughs> walk it. Come on. Oh, you know I forgot to I forgot to equip the thermal pad. right towards me. Ah! Yeah. Look at that noise. Still got some. 
Are you talking to yourself? You are, you crazy man. Good thing we got those all terrain legs, though. you doom sufferers see that end of day stuff i put the nightmares down to fatigue a uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage dying's not an option my research is nowhere near complete it's not just my life you're saving here it's my life's work i started to wonder if i'd ever see these meds I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Thank you. Get linked up. with access to a treasure trove of historical research materials. Studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once and for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits and strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, 
Our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensure that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. I feel important. Good work. New order available. Please access... Is this thirty thousand? Oh, my God. Okay. Boots, actually. And I'm gonna create. Up. We headed towards the sky. The 
Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Weapons restrictions lifted. I wonder if I do I have if I have more of the thermal pads to stack for the prevention of degradation. I don't think there's any point of waiting up the storm. To some BTs. Oh, the unnecessary bridge. Maybe we should made some, oh my god, it scares me every single time. We really should have made some climbing anchors. Luckily, someone made us one right here. There we go. Yeah, boy. Take your damn antimatter bomb. Delivering cargo. Much appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all, though I can't for the life of me imagine how. But that's delivery. One more. Oh, oxygen mask. Anyway, a local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it on route. 
It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity. Which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me oh about. Oh my god. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... You could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction. Another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Good work. An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. But it does, so don't. Yeah, why do I feel like we're gonna run into some baddies? Whoa!
get rest here? is immaculately preserved. Uncannily even. You're gonna get me. Ooh, volcano orange. Thank and yes, it did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evo Devo biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable. And that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter, and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. Good work. 